No, so we so we back. Now I'm gonna do a um I already talked about you know Ruiz's performance in, in there's in uh in um Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz's rematch. I already spoke on that, so you can go check it out. Uh, now I'm gonna uh, assess what I saw from Joshua. Uh, he fought. He fought a, a a masterful technical fight. You know, he used his attributes. He didn't allow uh, Ruiz to do anything that he really wanted to do at all. Uh, he held him at bay with the jab, and it was a stiff jab, a strong stiff jab. Ruiz's neck, head, neck was snapping back every time he landed. It wasn't like those Kovalev touch jabs that he was trying to hit Canelo with. These were some stiff jabs that let you know there's some fire if you come in here. Uh, he was able to land a left hook, open, open the cut on his eye, and then there was a, there was the the right coming down over the top that was that was open at night um, at times that night. So he just fought. He just fought a wonderful, masterful, technical fight. Uh, he came in in tip-top boxing condition. Tip-top boxing condition. He wasn't overly muscular. Uh, I wasn't sure how that was going to affect him, but but he looked good as far as that is concerned. As, as far as his endurance, his stamina, and being able to fight 12 rounds like that. So that that was good. Uh, he made the adjustment, and you know. He was able to, to to get his titles back, so salute to him. Now, as I assessed the fight further, there still were things that I didn't like, that I saw in Joshua that 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 was questionable. So, for instance, uh, the times that he did get hit, they affected him. His legs would wobble. How he responded to being hit, it, it, it's, it's like his confidence isn't all the way back. Even though he won that fight convincingly, his confidence isn't back because the way he was responding once he was getting hit, you know, it, go back and look at it. It was very few times, but when, when Ruiz got in or got close, he felt it every time. And I think Ruiz handled Joshua's power better than Joshua could handle his because he ate a lot of, lot of good, clean shots and kept coming. You know what I mean? So... But I got concerns, man. Like, I don't think his confidence is all the way back yet. Uh, even though I just said it was a masterful, beautiful ex fight that he put together, you know, the, the way it was done in his mannerisms, it was like uh, almost aggressively fighting scared, if that makes sense. Like, or no, I don't want to say scared. I'll say cautious. He was overly, he was, he was a little bit more cautious than comfortable comfortable out there you know what i mean i never seen him like just get out there and, and he's up on all the cars but he never was in the zone like he like as far as just being comfortable in the ring i never felt him being comfortable in the ring i felt him like constantly thinking i gotta do this and keep this i never i didn't see it wasn't a flow really you know what i mean to me so uh so the third fight is going to be interesting. If 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 Andy Ruiz had came into this fight in shape, ready to go, focused, and he could have and he could have got in and landed a few more shots, it could have been a different type of fight. So saying that, I'm saying all that for the third fight. It's not a it's not a guarantee that it's a game of adjustments. Who can adjust to who? So it's one and one right now, and with the mannerisms that I seen tonight, you know. As the fight comes closer, once they get another date, I'll be able to gauge it better. But man, it, it's it. The next fight is a 50-50 fight as well, man, because you know it didn't look like he was taking those punches too well. But that's my review on that. Uh, getting ready to watch the the Charlo fight, and then in a couple weeks I'll be at the other Charlo brothers fight. So stay tuned for all the reviews, comment, like, whatever. Get back at me. I don't have a lot of followers or a lot of views, so I'll be able to respond to you real quick. One love.